Hummingbirds are the tiniest birds in the world. They're also the most mesmerizing. They can flap their delicate little wings as fast as 200 times per second, which allows them to hover in one spot for a long time. Hummingbirds have the ability to fly 60 miles per hour. All that adds up to a lot of wing action when migration time comes. These tiny creatures can travel 3,000 miles in their seasonal relocation treks. In August and September, hummingbirds make their long fall trip from the cool northern areas the warm south where they can survive over winter. The end of the summer decrease in day length gives the hummingbirds the instinctual urge to start heading south. To prepare for the long journey, they must gain 25 to 40 percent over their normal weight. They must also maintain strength over their journey by stopping at feeding sites. For this reason it's important to keep your feeders maintained with good quality sugar water during this span of time. A mixture of one part sugar to four parts water is adequate, but a little higher sugar amount is permissible during this fattening up period. Do not add red food coloring. This is bad for the hummingbirds. Hummingbirds can visit 1,000 flowers per day to get their food. Tiny tongues flicker in and out 13 times per second, bringing valuable nectar into their bodies. As well as nectar, hummingbirds feed on small insects and spiders. Typically they will feed seven times per hour for 30 to 40 seconds for each feed. Their little hearts beat 1,260 beats per minute while in flight and 250 beats per minute during rest. Hummingbirds do have a lengthy list of predators including snakes, lizards, bats, various birds, cats, and even fish if they fly too closely over the water. Fortunately for hummingbirds, they're fast and they can escape. The Missouri Conservationist magazine put out an article some years ago stating that hummingbird lovers should take down their feeders after Labor Day weekend. Their idea was that the birds would delay their flight if there was an easy access to food, thereby increasing the risk of running into dangerously cold weather. More recently, bird experts have revised their opinions and now encourage everyone to keep their feeders out and well maintained during and beyond this important time of the hummingbird's southern migration. Here at the Neal's homestead, we have seen a marked increase in hummingbird activity recently, and we humans have thoroughly enjoyed it. And if you stand really still and quiet, they'll come right up to you.